Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix your connection is not private or secure on Google Chrome. This will even work on any other browser. So if you're getting this kind of message while opening any website, how you can fix it, I will be sharing three to four different methods that you need to apply all of them. And after that, I'm very sure that you will get rid of this issue coming on your browser. But before that, I would like to clarify that how you have to fix it, depending that on what kind of website you are getting this error message. If you are getting an error message on a specific any website, then you need to assure that that website is trustworthy and safe. Right now, I'm on a website that's expired.badssl.com. I'm not aware of this website. I have never used it. I'm coming to this website for the first time. So I'm not sure that whether to trust or not. And if you read the message here, it says attackers might be trying to steal your information from this website. Example, password, messages or credit cards. Now there is another message that comes up. It says the connection to this is not secure. You are seeing this warning because the site does not support HTTPS. So these kind of similar messages you can get. All right. So if you do not identify a website, kindly ignore it. But if you are getting this message on multiple website, almost on all the website, then probably this can be some kind of browser issues or some kind of certification issues from your PC. All right. So because many people reported that they have the issues on a trusted website like PayPal, Quora.com, Reddit.com. So in that case, apply the solution that I'm going to share in this video. Now make sure that after seeing the method one or two, do not skip because I will be sharing four methods that you need to apply all of them. And after that, you will be getting the solution. Number one, try clearing the cache and the cookies. Now, once you are on the website, on the very top, you will find this lock icon here. Once you click on it, where it says not secure, and you can see a triangle icon here. So you can click on it. Then it says cookies. Right now I have zero cookies, but you will find some cookies here in the box. You have to click on remove and keep clicking on remove until you see the empty box. Once you are done, click on done. Then try to reload the website and check that if this fix a problem. And if not, then you have to clear the browsing data, cache and everything from your browser. So on your Google Chrome, on the very right and top, you will see the three dot. Click on it. Then hover up to settings. Click on settings. From the left in menu option, click on privacy and security. Then here you'll find clear browsing data. Click on it. Now it should come with a basic one. So you have to choose advanced. Time range, you have to choose all time. Check the box of browsing data, download history, cookies, cache. You can uncheck password and autofill form data or else you will lose your saved password and IDs. Rest, you can check all the boxes. Once you are done, click on clear data and it will take some time depending that how much uh, temporary and the browsing data you have on your browser. So have patience and once it's been completed, you can close your browser and now you have to press the windows and letter R key all together. This will bring up the run box at the left hand corner. Here you have to type MMC. Then click on OK. You will see such kind of box coming up. On the very left and top of it, you will find file. Click on file. Then click on add remove snap in. Then here from the left hand menu, you have to look for certificates. Click and highlight it. Then click on add. Then choose computer account. Then click on next. And then hit on finish. Now the certificate will be added here. Now click on OK. Now you will see the certificates here. So double click on it. Now here you have to look for trusted root certification authorities. Double click on it. Then again, you will find certificates. Double click on it. And here you have to look for DST root CAX3. 
So you can keep scrolling down until you find here DST root CA X3. So probably this certification file is creating some kind of issues. So what you have to do, you just need to delete it. Make a right click on it and choose delete. Then click on yes. Now once deleted, we have to import a fresh copy of this DST file. So what you can do, I will be sharing a link in the description of Google Drive. You have to come to that link, then click on download. Then click on download anyway. Once downloaded, again go back to that location. Right click on certificates, hover up to all tasks, then choose import. Then hit on next. Now click on the browse and download the file that you just downloaded from Google Drive. Choose the location, then click on open. Then hit on next, hit on next, then click on finish. So now this DS3 file will be added to your console. And after that, you can close it. Then click on yes to save the changes. And you can save this to somewhere like in your document or anywhere that you want to. Then click on save. Now go back. And you also need to assure that your date and time has been up to date. So what you can do, just click on the search box, type here date. From the suggestion, choose change the date and time. And here you need to assure that this time has been enabled, set time automatically, set time zone automatically. If this has been enabled, it will automatically detect the right location and right time. From the left hand menu, click on region. And here in the country or region, you have to choose your own country. Okay, wherever you are living in US, United States or India, wherever you are, you have to choose the right location. After choosing the location, come back here again to date and time. Just disable and then enable it back again. Now after this, you can check back, try restarting your browser and open the same website. I'm very sure that your problem will be fixed. And if this worked for you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a like and let me know in the comment section that if you still have any kind of issues. So that's all. Thank you so much and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.